What's going on guys? You know when you live in the town where Whataburger was founded, a lot of people want to know what do people who live in that town eat when they go to Whataburger? So I got my receipt here. We were there just a short while back on the 18th. I ordered for me a sweet and spicy bacon burger junior meal. Now it has two patties. Sometimes I pull one of the patties out just to try to abide by what my cardiologist wants me to do. My wife gets the number seven Whataburger Junior meal. She gets toasted buns on both sides, no onions, extra lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, grilled jalapenos, and a large fry. And then we get a milk for our daughter because we really don't drink much of what's here. Actually, I drink the sweet tea because it's pretty dang good. So yeah, that's what we get from Whataburger. What do you get if you eat at a, at a fast food joint near you? Okay, so I've been in this truck for a while now, and uh, honest opinion, um, I really like it. Um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of these seats. Uh, they're very similar to the seats that are in the half-ton Denali we have, but they're definitely different. And when I say different, uh, they have the massage feature, which is really nice, and they feel a little bit more padded. Uh, they feel a little softer than the seats that are in my half-ton truck. Uh, that said though, um, they feel a lot more comfortable. So I feel like I could sit in these seats a lot longer and having the massage feature set certainly helps if you're on a longer trip and you're trying to definitely get as much comfort as possible. Wow, that truck is severely overloaded. That said, you know, uh, the truck's actually been really nice. This 10 speed Allison transmission is a beast and you can definitely tell it's a heavier duty transmission than, than what's in the uh, the half ton truck that we have. This whole truck in general, how it drives, how it moves and performs, just feels more significant, if that makes sense. Uh, those of you who have driven heavy duty, three quarter ton up trucks from any of the manufacturers, you probably can tell the difference between how those drive, how they feel the extra weight versus a half ton truck. And this truck definitely has that same feeling. Um, it feels massive. Uh, the hood line is still very tall, just like it is in the half ton, except this truck sits significantly higher. Um, the overall feel of this truck, when you hit the throttle, when you accelerate, definitely feels more like a three quarter ton. It doesn't feel super light, while at the same time, it has a firmer ride to it than any half ton truck that I, I've been in. Um, again, this truck is definitely comfortable. It still feels smooth, it handles bumps well, but it is definitely firmer and more jarring than any half ton truck. And it's designed that way. You know, you have springs that take a lot more weight to compress them. You have a significantly higher uh, rated cargo capacity. You have a significantly higher rated towing capacity. Uh, the front suspension on this truck is massive compared to a half ton truck. The rear axle on this truck is significantly larger than what you would have on a half ton truck. Just overall, you can tell that this truck is designed to be able to tackle work. You can tell that this truck, regardless of how many luxury amenities you have in this Denali Ultimate truck, it still has the presence and it still has the key characteristics you need if you're gonna haul something really heavy, like a big boat, big utility trailer, large travel trailer, a small fifth wheel. You have a lot of capability here that, that you really need a three quarter ton truck if you're gonna be using. Now, it does shift a little different. It doesn't feel as, well, I don't wanna say it doesn't feel as smooth. It feels more heavy duty when it shifts. It feels as if you're dealing with a transmission that's designed to pull weight and be able to shift smoothly while you're pulling or carrying weight. Um, I've been trying to drive this as much as possible so I can, I can give you all the best unbiased review of how this truck handles and how it performs. Um, I've been doing pretty much everyday errands. I've been trying to use it like we use the other trucks and uh, parking it in parking spots. And this truck isn't that much longer than the half ton truck we have. It's only maybe a foot or so longer, maybe a little bit longer than that, but it's not significantly longer. So parking it in parking spots hasn't been a challenge, which is really nice. That said though, uh, I'm gonna make a trip here real quick to Walmart. We're actually celebrating a birthday party and I've been tasked to pick up some things. So I'm gonna run inside Walmart real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, so we are all done here at Walmart. It's one of those trips where I went in for like five items and I left with like 25 items, including a lot of ice, which thankfully I have a bed for that. And yeah, it should be a pretty interesting day today. Anyways, back to the topic of, uh, of this pickup truck. So, you know, it's, it's 
an easy truck to maneuver, at least for people who have driven pickup trucks before. If you're moving from a half ton truck to this truck and you're worried about getting in and out of parking spaces, things like that, if you can maneuver your half ton truck, then this three quarter ton shouldn't be much of an issue for you. It may be a little longer than your truck depending on the cab configuration and the bed configuration of your current truck because this is gonna have roughly a six, six and a half foot bed on it. This is not the eight foot long bed version of the truck. Um, that said, it's it's a dang easy truck to move around. I mean, I, uh, I've had no problem with it. Now, the only thing I, I wanna point out again is that it does sit significantly higher than my half ton truck. So you just have to kind of get used to that. It, it's almost like if I put a lift kit on my half ton truck, that's essentially what this kind of feels like. Except again, that, uh, that 6.6 .6 liter Duramax with significantly more horsepower and torque definitely, definitely feels more beefy. Now, something worth noting is fuel economy. So on this truck, um, when I was towing the dump trailer, I was averaging about 11 miles per gallon. And I wasn't driving aggressively. I would consider the way I was driving very similar to how I drive the F450 when I'm towing. And the fuel economy was pretty much on par with what I was getting with my, uh, my red truck. On this truck, however, um, the fuel economy when not towing is significantly better. I'm getting about 14 and a half to 16 and a half miles per gallon in the city on this truck, just driving very conservatively. I'm not trying to overdo it. I'm not trying to drive with a heavy pedal. Um, I'm more or less just trying to drive this thing like I would just normally drive any other vehicle. Um, you also have to realize you're moving a lot more mass. So the fuel economy is something like this. Again, it's not gonna be anywhere near what I'm getting with that half ton Denali with the three liter LZO diesel in it. Now. Keep in mind, when you get a truck like this, you know, you do want to get good fuel economy when you're not towing, but there's there's trade-offs, right? If you want to have the power that you need to tow the big trailers when you are towing, if you want to have the power you need to be able to accomplish work tasks like haul a big, you know, utility cargo trailer down the road and, and be able to pull it over highways and get relatively good fuel economy, that's really where these big diesel engines come in handy. They they have the, the brute force to be able to move larger items, larger trailers, without suffering as much. Um, if I took my, my half-ton Denali with the three liter diesel in it, that truck does absolutely phenomenal when it comes to unladen fuel economy. Basically, just driving it around um, and trying to treat it like an SUV. It does phenomenal. I mean, I get between, on the low end, 22 miles per gallon, on the high end, 32 miles per gallon. So it's insane the fuel economy I get out of that truck. And any half ton truck would be lucky to get those types of numbers uh, with a gas or a diesel engine. Whereas this truck, you know, getting 20 miles per gallon in this truck is probably not really a thing I should ever seek because it's just not gonna provide it. If I do, I'm gonna have to be doing something very special, probably tailwind going downgrade, um, you know, foot not even touching the accelerator, and then I'll probably get in the mid 20s. It's just because of the size of the engine in this thing. So expecting 20 miles per gallon out of this truck is unrealistic. So the thing you wanna keep in mind is if you're looking at moving from a half ton truck to a three quarter ton truck, and you don't need to move to a three quarter ton truck, if you have a small trailer or if you just like the way three quarter ton trucks look, then just understand you're gonna take a huge hit in terms of fuel economy and you're gonna be spending a lot more on fuel simply because you're gonna be filling your truck up more frequently. That's one of the really great reasons why that Denali half ton we have has been a great truck for us. Uh, my red truck, which gets pretty abysmal fuel economy, pretty much sits now, except when I drive it maybe once or twice per week. And the fuel economy of my red truck is always hovering between about 11 and a half to 14 miles per gallon, depending on how I'm driving it and what I'm doing with it. Whereas again, on the black truck between 22 and 32 miles per gallon, simply because it's a very, very fuel efficient diesel truck. It really, really does a great job at maximizing how far you can go on a single tank. And that is really important for a lot of people. So I don't want anybody to be under any type of misguidance that moving to a three quarter ton truck or one ton truck that you're gonna be able to you know, feather the throttle and, and drive it really, really conservatively, very responsibly, and you're gonna have really good numbers that match what your half ton truck had. It's just not something to expect. It's not realistic. Uh, fuel economy on these trucks, again, you're, you're gonna be lucky if you get in the 20s ever. 
Um, most of the time you're gonna be hovering between maybe 13 to 17 miles per gallon, and that's gonna be depending on city driving versus highway driving. When you start towing, you're probably gonna drop down again to that 11 mile per gallon range. And again, it's just because that's the trade-off you get whenever you want a super, super powerful vehicle for the capability aspect and not so much the fuel economy aspect. I hope that all makes sense. You know, there's a lot of reasons why people would want to switch to a three quarter ton truck if you're towing a heavy trailer. But if you're not towing a heavy trailer, then I wouldn't necessarily consider it unless you understand what you're moving into. You're moving into a truck that's gonna have a firmer ride. You're moving into a truck that is probably gonna be larger than the truck that you currently have. You're moving into a truck that's gonna get a lower fuel economy than you probably currently have. And you're moving into a truck that is going to require more fuel whenever you fill up. So those are the downsides. The positive sides are you have a really awesome truck. I mean, three quarter ton up trucks are just, they're kind of my passion, I love them. They're, they're absolutely great capable vehicles. They tow just about anything these days. They can handle so much weight and they're beasts in terms of just overall power, refinement and what they've been able to do. So for me, it's well worth the trade-off. It's well worth having a three quarter ton up truck in my fleet of vehicles because I can use it for whatever I want to use it for. I just also understand the, the downsides. I understand why it may not be the perfect truck for everybody or why I'll probably drive the half ton Duramax that we have around uh, whenever I'm more concerned about fuel economy and maximizing mileage and I don't need my red truck to drive around. Um, if I had this truck as my only vehicle, I could totally live with it. I would totally justify it. It's, a, it's such a cool truck, a lot of tech, a lot of capability, super comfortable. And, and quite frankly, it's a truck that kind of hits the passion point of what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a truck. So, you know, all of those for me are perfectly legitimate reasons why I would want to own a heavy duty truck. For you, it may not be the same. And that is exactly the thing you have to constantly ask yourself whenever looking at vehicles. Is the truck that I'm looking at getting going to be the right truck for me and how I use that truck? What my use case is? Anyways, guys, I would sure love if you left a comment below. Uh, give me your thoughts on this video because I'm always interested in finding out and understanding more about why people buy certain trucks, what their passion is. Do they buy a truck because of what they know it can do, not necessarily because they're going to use it for that? Or do you buy a truck because you need to have a specific tool exactly fitted to the job? Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.